um, hello guys today I want to show you uh, how I upgrade my SSD on my uh, Surface Pro 9 from a default uh, 256 gigabyte to uh, 2 terabyte uh, SSD uh, I bought uh, this uh, 2 terabyte SSD uh, from uh, Taobao uh, China uh, for only around $110. I think you can also uh, bought this uh, SSD from uh, AliExpress for a similar $120 to $130. I think it's from a Western Digital uh, brand. Its model number is uh, SN740. Uh, it's a PC uh, IE uh, Gen 4. Uh, by 4 uh, M2 uh, SSD. Its size is the type of a 22 or 30 millimeter. Okay, there's a lot of step uh, to go through. Let's start. First, you need to create a USB uh, window recovery drive. You need to plug in your USB drive and you type um, create a recovery drive in the recovery drive and then you select it okay and here you need to untick a backup system file to the recovery drive and then you press next and you need to wait a bit for window that will show your USB drive okay here uh, it show your available uh, USB drive and then you press next and in this uh, window it it's, uh, show you that uh, everything on the drive will be deleted so make sure you back up everything in there and then you uh, press create okay. wait for it to finish okay the recovery drive is ready so you press finish now it's time to download the recovery image from a Microsoft website and then we merge it into that USB drive so you go to Google Chrome or any internet browser okay and then uh, you type uh, you search for a surface recovery image surface recovery image okay and here uh, you select a surface recovery image download from a support uh, dot microsoft.com okay and then you scroll and then you have to select your uh, surface device uh, in this case, my Surface device is Surface Pro 9 and you have to type in your serial number. You can get that serial number uh, on the back of your uh, Surface device and in my case, it's behind uh, the uh, kickstand as you see in this uh, image. So here I have already have my serial number so I fill it in and I press uh, continue then you see the result and as you can see here you need to download the image uh, that's window uh, 11 home version uh, 22h2 you press it okay and then it will uh, download uh, this uh, file this file is fairly big it's around uh, 10 gigabytes so it may take some time okay guys now since i uh, finish download the file I have to uh, unzip it and merge it into uh, my USB drive so uh, here I put it in here it's around uh, 10 gigabyte so uh, you need to extract it all the file into the USB drive so I use a 7-zip okay I open archive 
and I select all and I extract it and I, and I extract everything into the recovery drive here okay you don't need to put any uh, folder just extract it to the zip uh, to the root of the file the, of the drive okay you press ok and there, there may be something that you need to uh, replace just choose adjust to all and you wait for it to finish okay guys now uh, the merging process is finished and now we got a usb uh, boot drive that has a win all file of window uh, 11 in, in it so now uh, it's time to swap the ssd and it's time to boot uh, and restore okay guys now it's time to swipe uh, the ssd uh, we replace the old one with the new one so you need to uh, remove the default ssd you have to uh, you have to find some uh, screwdriver because uh, i feel that the screw that fixed uh, the default ssd is very small so you need to find some very small screwdriver okay You need to pop it back in. You need to pop it out. Up. Okay, this is the default one, and this is the new one. Okay, as you can see, the thickness is fairly similar. I think the new one is slightly thinner so i is i think it's possible for us to apply some uh, thermal pad okay Okay, now it's time uh, to put it back in. Okay, uh, Okay now, see every, everything fixed in place, pop the, the plate back in, okay. Now it's time to boot and recover uh, from uh, our previous made uh, USB drive. First, make sure. Uh, first, make sure you need to plug in your uh, your surface. Here is our previous drive. Okay. Okay. You need uh, to hold the power and down button. Okay, and you need to. Okay. 
Okay, guys. Now you uh, arrive at the recovery menu. So uh, now you have to choose uh, English uh, United States, and then uh, you can use, choose US uh, keyboard layout, and then we choose a uh, recovery uh, from a drive. Okay. Okay, in this case, I choose a fully clean the drive. Okay, and then you choose a recover. Okay, guys, now uh, the process is almost uh, finished. Okay. I think if you got a faster USB drive, maybe the process is a little bit faster than this. Uh, it's, it's already took almost one hour, one and a half hour. Okay, now it seems to restart. Okay, now you can see you got a new uh, window uh, 11 on your surface Pro 9. Okay, and uh, in the end of this video, I will uh, show you the benchmark uh, comparison of uh, this new uh, 2 terabyte SSD with the old one. I will see uh, how fast it's compared, but I think it's going to be pretty similar. Okay, thank you all. Please subscribe and I will keep the, the video coming. Thank you.